just for a second, my mind went black. Hi, Aquarius. It's Christelle Martinet, and I'm here with another reading for you for the month of September. And this uh, time, this month, I'll be reading starting with the Tarot of the Pictorial Key. And um, just let me say that next week I'll be announcing in a separate little video that um, you can see if you want to, I'll be reading the winner of the contest, the Past Life Regression Contest. Had so many submissions, thank you all. And that is that. Now I'm hearing, I'm hearing, and I'm listening, and I'm, I'm hearing, um, you know, on the uh, two two things for you. Uh, that's enough, and let me do my work. That's enough. Let me do my work. You know, there, there, uh, in your head, you there is this dichotomy of someone on the outside, as if there was a, as if there were a. Uh, an energy or a force that's responsible for something inside you. So you, you know, get away, stay back. Uh, I'm, I'm hiding. I'm, I need my space. And on the other hand, you're working, or not around the clock, but so, so much um, that it's interesting to see you uh, acting as, as if. I want to say as if, as if, as if nothing's bothering you. And I get that. I had that for several signs this month but um generally generally you feel like you have everything under control i've got it under control gang i'm under control there there you're being hit on many sides from family issues uh work study uh a significant other somewhere a relationship issue and you're in the crossfire you know you feel like you're being bombarded with with messages or and on the one hand, yes, you're, they're thoughts that other people have and, and people that you know that are thinking about you, but much of it is your own thoughts that are in many ways uh, feeding you again and again. And um, it's not typically the windmills of your mind that uh, Aquarians tend to go through. No, this is something that has reached a peak level, and, and I'm talking about August. But in September here, you want to cut that off. You want to uh, close it off. You want to control. You want more control of things. I'm going to put out here six, uh, five cards and see what they have to say. And the first is the moon. All right, the moon, and the moon hides, doesn't it? And the moon, however, gives you a lot of emotions. And um, what, the, what the moon is also telling me is that in one of the moons, the full or the new moon, or in the period between those two moons, there's going to be heightened emotional pull for you, um, specifically in relation to this being at the crossroads, I feel. So we'll look at that. And um, here, Ten of Cups. How lovely right now to have the Ten of Cups because you do, you do come to grips with that uh, crossfire, being in the crossfire. I'm going to take a look at, at first this, this moon card to see what that is hiding. And then the Ten. Yes, okay. Um, what you're feeling with this period between the moons, if not one or the other moon. Uh, this is the thief, Ladro, the messaggero, the messenger, and gelosia, which is not necessarily je jealousy, but what you're feeling is someone else's pain. You're being affected by the thoughts that they are in some way, uh, that, that in some way reach you, and you're feeling f someone else's pain. But at the same time, I see this Ten of Cups, which is such a lovely, uh, beautiful energy here and there yeah there could be a meeting with that person yes um, we have the reunione card the meeting and uh, the nuptial dance imeneo and uh, what is that all about i mean that is happily ever after card and then the pensiero the art well it's the artista the artist um and this is you i'm seeing thinking about that picture that ideal that that uh, notion that you would like to go toward, 
you know, this is your ideal. You, you, you're concentrating on, a, it's not that you have a one track mind, but you're concentrating on a, visualizing a dream. This is the process of visualizing your dream. Okay. So the month of September for you, Aquarius, is going to be very, very instrumental in visualizing what you want as a way of attracting that. Let's see the next card that has come up. The world card, many of you will be traveling, and I see that for partially, partially for if it's a trip, it's a small trip, or it's a scouting out trip, a recognizance. You know, I have to, I have to, I'm thinking of moving to another country, so let me go out and find a place to stay. See, see what the work market is and see if there's uh, the prices of apartments and things like that. It's, it's a recognizance, it's scouting out. So it's, it may be a small trip, nothing big. This is for the most part. And if you're not traveling, you're going to be coming around full circle in your thoughts in relation to a person here. The next card is the Magician, and you have to really, really use this month because the power is yours. Use that visualization process. With these cards, Aquarius, your dream is yours. And I'm not saying that lightly because this slew of cards in this particular array, we have one, two, three major arcana in a row, you know, and... Um, here we have the Page of Pentacles. This is high-duty spiritual work coming your way. Look, I'm going to take more cards on the on the page to talk to see what that if that is in relationship to a person or your career. Let's see, or your work, your activity. Yeah, that talks about movement here. It does talk about movement. Viaggio, uh, the trip, movement. And so speedy, finally, and Vecchia Signore would speak to positive change during a trip, during this even brief scouting out or going, you'll have the opportunity to meet up with that person and to put uh, some, to give you that sense of control. At least I'm calling the shots, you know. It's quite interesting, but you know, what else is coming up? What else is coming up with this, with this magician? Aquarians, I cannot stress enough how concentrating on an image and visualizing it the power that that can have toward attracting that image and that energy toward you especially in, in a, a spread of this Kate of this nature and uh, the world card does talk about I mean I, I do see the travel for you and I do see it's taking a leap of faith actually with the starting with the moon you're going to have to take a leap of faith in that direction and risk something in order for it to come out but nonetheless keep visualizing your image I'm going to take the um, cast the runes to see what they can add here Oops, let me shut. Just a second, I have to pick up and the one that fell. Okay, good thing I went and fetched it. It's beautiful, beautiful tear. Tear speaks to success. Tear speaks to moving toward success. And tear tells us that our energies are never wasted when we're working on a specific goal that we have created for ourselves and that we are uh, immersed in and not obsessing, but that we firmly believe is our path and, and our ours to do that's our destiny picking it up in our hands and running with it just like a ball now i'm seeing here a beautiful the beautiful energy of keynote's bright stave and that is the certainty that you can count on the month of september for moving in any direction uh home changing uh study getting going to a different place um, moving towards a significant other, risking you know, communicating with them when they have not responded. You know, this is uh, on your side this month. You have you have the, um, the 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 protection of algae, which means no matter what happens, no matter what their response is, there will no not be the pain that has characterized um, your experiences over the past uh, year. I would say, if not months, a year. I have Ingvats here and um, Iwats. Iwats again attests to the you're being protected no matter what you do. And Ingvats tells us it is a risk 
you need to take. First, prepare it, prepare the groundwork through the visualization process of that dream. Hagal Hagalas talks about, okay, what are we going to do? I'm, yes, I've worked on myself, I've done it, I've done the work, I'm ready to move forward. And it's through the communicating event, through the communication event on Zeus Bright Stair, that it will be this give and take, there will be this communication that will allow me to then see and gauge my, uh, my chances. There is, however, um, in opposition to Keynote's Bright Stave, there's Merck Stave, there's a Pedro Merck Stave, which talks about not knowing if it's right under the, uh, the magician. It's not knowing the full breadth of your power. And you have to give yourself credit for the ability to attract abundance in all realms. Um, I, I, I'm going to leave it at that, Aquarians. I hope, do hope this was of um, help to you. Good luck, and it's, I do hope you have a great September. These are beautiful cards, one of the best spreads I've had in all of the signs. Namaste, ladies and gentlemen, till we read together again. Bye-bye.